Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerry with you at another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually overclock your GPU. What were the manufacturer, what were the brand you might be using? You can actually use this tool to overclock. Yeah. So right now I'm gonna overclock my RTX 2060 Super, but you can actually use this tool to overclock any other. Uh, brands. It's actually I must say afterburner, but instead of we manually overclock, we're gonna use the latest feature that this uh, tool actually comes with a OC scanner. So this OC scanner actually scans your uh, GPU and provides you with a decent and stable overclock. So that's what we're gonna do with this. Okay, so first thing first, let's start with the MSI Afterburner. You gotta download this tool from the link in the description. So download the latest version so you have this feature. You also need to download Heaven's Benchmark. So Heaven's Benchmark is a tool that actually benchmarks your graphics card that actually skews out of your graphics card and if anything goes wrong it, it will crash. So we know something is not right with the old clock. So that we are going to do okay instead of manually we can actually do it manually but if you don't want to take the risk if you don't want to push to push the graphics card to its limit so the best thing to do is to use this overclock tool I mean this OC scanner so that's what we are gonna do here okay so first what you needed to do is just launch once you install installing this application is pretty straightforward download the exe file just click next 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 then it's done that's it so then go to settings and here you need to enable start with windows that is to make sure your graphics card always work as it is intended i mean sometimes if you don't run this especially when the controls fan controls and everything is set on this particular application it will be you know it's automated or it's, whether it's manual otherwise if the application doesn't work for, for sometimes fan won't adjust based on the temperature so in that case you need to make sure the application runs and start start up so check this and start minimized it means uh, it will start minimized it will be in the tray so <clears throat> the next one is enable low level hardware access interface restore settings software suspended mode unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring so you need to enable all these features then switch to fan and here you need to enable enable user defined software automatic fan control okay and here you have this curve editor you can actually use this curve editor to control the fan speed so here you can see that here at when the GPU is at it's around 75 degrees Celsius then the fan speed will be 90 percentage okay when it's at 90 degree then it will be 100 so idea is to keep your graphics card under 70 degrees whatever the load it may be like you know even if it's 100 percentage load then the graphics card should stay under at least 75 degrees Celsius. you shouldn't let it go beyond 75 it can be it, it could sometimes damage your uh, graphics card so we need to keep it under 75 70 degrees Celsius that's fine so once you have done click apply click OK that's how it works okay then click apply click OK so then you need to enable this one as well I'm going to restart this my current settings then OK then it will be default then we will start doing it over so default it's the default settings and here go here to enable all these features then enable this curve editor then click apply and click OK. Then after that, you need to enable uh, this auto and you need to enable auto both auto and the user defined. To enable this user defined, just click here, click this icon, click this gear icon. You can see that then that's user defined. Then you need to change this uh, slide this up all the way up to 100 percentage then the power limit 100 percentage and temperature limit all the way up to 100 it'll never hit the 100 percentage but we are going to 
let the program analyze with these settings then it will actually provide you with a stable overclock click uh, save this tick button okay so after you have everything ready so just click this icon you see here it will actually launch this OC scanner curve editor you don't need to edit it manually it will scan then give you uh, a stable overclock okay based on you know scanning your GPU so click it then you have this editor here then click OC scanner then you have this new window okay then you have two options here test and scan first you need to scan then it'll give you the overclock then after that you need to test it it'll give you a confidence level like between 10 and 100 anything beyond 60 should be uh, fine so but in most cases it will be like uh, 90 percentage so we are going to start scanning okay so once you start scanning make sure you don't run any other applications that especially utilize your graphics card let it run then it will give you a maximum overclock boost so just hit the scan and it, it, it has started scanning so it has four pass test then after that it will give you the overclock then you can actually apply that number on your afterburner so I'll show you how to do that so just wait so it'll actually take a few minutes like 5 to 10 minutes so it'll let you run then we will test it so the scan is over here you can see that scanning point 1 to 4 and scan succeeded average overclock is 131 megahertz so plus 131 megahertz so dominantly we is for overclock curve exported genocide afterburner so from now on if i apply the settings this uh, i will have a boost extra boost clock of 131 megahertz now we need to test this see if it actually works so there is this option here you can click test and after that it will give you a confidence level okay then we can decide if you want to apply or if you, if you want to push it further by manually doing it then i'll show you that first let's do the test right it'll take a few minutes so I'll let it do it so finally the, the test is also over and here you can see that test completed and confidence level is 90 percentage in most cases it should be uh, 90 percentage but anything beyond 60 percentage should be fine and you're good to go with that so after the scan you can just close this so settings uh, these new settings have already been sent uh, sent to the afterburner so you can either save it as a profile or you can just apply right away so here i'm going to close this then and this one as well this OC scanner we don't need it anymore then here you can see that it has been applied I haven't yet applied it but you, but you can actually save it as a profile I suggest saving it as a profile so you can actually switch between the default and this profile okay so here I'm going to save it as a profile so to save it as a profile click this save button then these uh, numbers will be blinking you can actually choose one of these numbers so I'm going to save it on three okay just save it that's it then you need to apply the settings on afterburner right now so we haven't yet applied the settings we have saved it as a profile now we are going to apply that new settings uh, on afterburner to apply that just click this uh, tick mark then that's been applied so one thing to make sure is that you need to uh, apply these new settings at the startup so to, to do that you need to enable this this button here so so apply at Windows startup you can see that so just click that so that's it that's how you actually overclock your graphics card RTX 2060 super max boost and my version is OC so and that's an overclocked version so it's max boost clock is 1850 but now it will reach around 1900 plus so there is an 130 plus 130 megahertz of extra boost clock so I get an extra 130 megahertz. So that's really great. So if you want to test this, you can actually use this Heavens benchmark. And if you want to push it further, you can try that as well. You can try that uh, manually. So 
to do that just run this heavens benchmark you need to set this to extreme then everything else is default just run that and it'll start running so here you can see that now the boost clock the uh, GPU clock hits around 1920 that's a nice overclock my usual uh, boost clock is 1850 because the actually the GPU comes overclocked so but it's core clock is around 1500 or something yeah then if anything goes wrong then you just let this heaven benchmark run for a few minutes so if anything is wrong with the overclock sometimes it will crash or you will you will find some sort of stuttering so so far nothing everything is smooth I have disabled it you can even try running it at 1080p or 1440p so if anything goes wrong you can actually adjust the uh, uh, core clock here on afterburner so I'm going to change the settings here to change it just choose I'm going to 1080p because my display is 1080p okay just choose it then click ok then it'll be expanded that's it and it'll run uh, on 1080p resolution so it's it's so far smooth no problem here and here you can clearly see that it hits around 1900 920 sometimes sometimes it's also I don't know something yeah it's just fluctuates based on the temperature and stuff you can even adjust the temperature if you want so if you want to adjust the temperature further I mean further you can actually use uh, the fan speed control and here you can actually adjust this this curve then fan will work faster so that will actually uh, reduce the temperature further so that's how you actually control the uh, GPU temperature it's it's a great way to keep your uh, graphics card under 70 or 65 degrees Celsius now you can see that it's still 100 percentage load and it's still 69 degrees Celsius that's it then uh, if you want to push this overclock further you can try overclocking it manually so when you do that make sure you don't push it that far but but you can actually do it by uh, adding like 20 or 30 megahertz plus 20 or 30 megahertz so like i yeah, i'll show you here how to do that okay just slide it a bit and you can see that that changes so now I have 30 plus 33 so then click apply then uh, again like 50 100 okay let's do it 100 just click apply and here you can see that 1920 then if you want to try uh, further if you want to push it further you can do that again just uh, 140 should be fine and pick up line so I think so far it's pretty fine no problem everything is smooth it's working uh, without any issues you can't see any stuttering or any glitches so everything is smooth you can also overclock your memory graphics card video memory so it's now at 7 mega uh, 7000 megahertz so you can push it further like plus 500 in most cases RTX uh, for RTX series you can push it like at least plus 500 megahertz so like now here I'm going to add another 300 uh, megahertz okay so just add this okay 309 and I'm going to apply so no problem so far so let's try pushing it further like 400 okay still smooth then let's try pushing it like uh, 400 plus
What about some plus? Okay, so far no problem. However, you should never uh, push it to its limit. That's not good for your graphics card because it could actually affect uh, the lifespan of your graphics card. I think that's not good, right? So, but of course you can actually play around these settings and get to know about get to know more about this tool, how it actually works. So I'm right now overclocking its memory. Now plus 900 megahertz. Let's see what happens. Still, it's ah. Oh, now you can see that there. It's gonna crash. I think very stuttering sometimes. You see that? So it can't. It can't actually push that much. So I need to take it down. It's gonna crash now, right now. Okay, it's been closed. So that's how you overclock your graphics card. I hope this helps, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.